at some point, all of us were introduced to Jesus. We were called to discipleship. And from that moment on, our lives were forever changed. Whatever we were doing, it took a back seat because Jesus is truly the center of our joy and our life and our being. And that's something that we should always treasure and that we should always value. And we should always make sure that we remain focused on discipleship. There's a lot of things that happen in the world with work and family and, and church even, but we've always got to remember that our primary goal in life is discipleship. Here we are again for the Sanctuary Sunday School, and I am so glad to be here with you. I appreciate you joining me. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and tap that bell and subscribe to the channel. And of course, those of you who meet me here every week, thank you so much. Share the video so that we can grow this body and just spread the word of God. This week's subject is Jesus first disciples and we're looking at this and, and we're looking at John the Baptist and again we talked about him last week and how he was so enthusiastic about his job he was so diligent about his job of being a forerunner of Christ and he was adamant about making sure that everybody he came in contact with understood that he was not the Messiah and that he was preparing the way for the Messiah and his job was necessary because this was all scripture this was our prophecy that the Messiah would come but they had no idea how when or where so there needed to be somebody there to prepare the way to set the stage and that's exactly what he did and that in of itself is a lesson for us because sometimes when we're working it's, it's always critical to understand we're working for God. We're not doing anything for our own glory. We're not doing anything to build our own names up, right? But it is to bring people to Jesus. Sheep beget sheep. So what that means is as a Christian, as a disciple of Jesus, it is my job to lead people to Christ. I have the Sanctuary Academy here, but it is not my job to lead people to my YouTube channel. It's my job to lead people to Christ and allow them to be what God is calling them to be. So we see that John was very dedicated to that job of promoting Jesus. And he made it clear that I am not the Messiah. And he identified him as the Lamb of God. And he also talked about, I like the way that he worded this, because he said, there is one who is going to come after me, right? But he's preferred above me and he was there before me. And I love the way that he worded that because Jesus was there from the very beginning at the creation with his father, God. But now he had been, he had been made flesh and he had a mortal body and he actually lived and walked on earth. So in so many words, John was saying, you know, you looking at me, you think I'm something, you think I'm powerful. You just wait because I'm just the, I'm just the warm up act, right? I'm just the, I'm opening act for the main event that's coming. And that is Jesus Christ, the savior of the world. And that's what he wanted them to understand. And he said that he had not seen him. And I love this about God because God is so faithful. He didn't know really who to look for, but he had a sign from God. And so God told him that my spirit is going to identify him in the form of a dove and that's exactly what jesus did and so john was able to know with certainty who jesus was that is so important we need to know with certainty who jesus is and i i want you to just type in the comments i know who jesus is we don't want to get confused we don't want to get it twisted and see this was important because john was influential everybody knew about him they knew what he was doing john had disciples people followed him so that's why his role was so important because people were listening to him and and he built up that anticipation and um expectation of the messiah and that the full that the scripture would be fulfilled and that the messiah would be here so that's what john 
did. And so, you know, when he talked Jesus, he saw Jesus and then he, he built him up. Okay. This is him. This is the one. And the people who were following John started following Jesus. And I love the way that they worded this because it was such a smooth transition. John led them straight to Jesus. If there ever was an example of good discipleship, that's it right there. The obedience, the sacrifice, and, and being willing to decrease, right, so that Jesus can increase and and we do that daily in our lives we put Christ first and it, it's a funny because when you put God first or when you put your salvation first when you put your discipleship to Jesus first he elevates you he makes ways and he makes your path so much better and he makes your life so much better and human nature is to strive especially nowadays do you you know do what you want to do and human nature is to um, strive the first law of nature is self-preservation but if we give it to God and if we become true disciples of God we can't take care of ourselves the way that God can take care of us you know like the old songs used to say he's been better than me than I've been to myself and I can definitely testify to that because God is a good God yes he is and so we see here that there were two of the disciples there, Andrew and Peter, and they were brothers. And that's where they came in contact with Jesus. And when they met him, I love it because when they met Jesus, they followed him. So where you live, you know, well, they went to his house and they stayed with him and they understood that he was the son of God and, and all of those things. And that is a lesson right there. Once you find Jesus, don't let him go. Don't let him get away. Follow him, stay with him, go with him, obey him, dwell with him, abide with him, abide in him, and he in you, just like these disciples did. And so when we look at the example of discipleship in these first disciples, one thing that I love about anything related to God or the Father is that it doesn't change. You know how when you have things or if you buy food, there's an expiration date after a certain date it's not good anymore or it's not as powerful. It's, it, it won't really uh, nurture you. You need to toss it out. God is just the opposite. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He got just as much power right now at the end of 2020 as he had back then when John was saying that this is the son of God when the dove that same power that he had when that dove descended to identify him as the son of God he has the same power today and he is interceding for you he is blessing you he is working on your behalf all that he requires is that you be a good disciple of Christ